Hey, it's your favorite local realtor from Lewis County, Aaron Mellon with Premier Property Group. And it's been a while since I did one of these videos, so I just wanted to update you on what's been going on and what you can expect going forward. So it's probably been about five or six weeks since my last real estate uh, update video. Obviously, I've still been posting listings. Um, so what happened? The first thing that happened is I purchased a fixer and so I've been working on that as much as I could and coordinating other people to work on it as well. So that took up a little bit of time. I still recorded videos and I'm going to make um, some more videos about everything I did to this home so you guys can see I can walk you through the, the rehab process. Um, so that should be pretty fun and interesting. So I did that. And then the next thing that I did is I went on vacation for a week. Um, I know, really great timing. Um, <laughs> buying a home and then having to go on vacation. Originally, I was hoping to have the home on the market um, by the end of August. But um, I can't get the title for a couple more weeks. So I can't actually legally sell it because I don't legally have the title in my name yet so we're gonna wait on that but in the meantime I'll send some videos on that then the week after I came back from um, vacation I had surgery on my left knee and so apparently what happened is I had tore my ACL sometime last year um, and I thought, hey, it was my meniscus because I got up and, and walked off. I was thinking about going back in the game like a fool. <laughs> but I decided I should probably um, go home after talking to someone who was there who had torn their ACL a couple times. Um, but again, I just thought it was my meniscus. That's kind of what the doctors were thinking. I didn't have an MRI. And there's not much you can do for a meniscus. So I was just thinking I would rehab it. So a uh, year later, um, I rehab. Like I can run, I can jump, um, I can do everything except for twist. And every once in a while, the knee like will lock and not like, um, it'll give out. So I was like, hey, my knee's not getting better. Maybe it's time to do the MRI because obviously all the swelling's gone down and whatnot. So I do the MRI and the results come back that I have no ACL in my leg. And apparently what happens um, when you tear your ACL, if you don't fix it, your body reabsorbs it. So they did the, the surgery on my knee and they said, you just had a couple of little nubs in there. And so what they did was they cleaned that up and they um, drilled into my bone a little bit and stretched out a cadaver tendon. Um, and they said it's, it's good to go. It'll stay in there, but it's best if the body accepts it and connects it and um, pumps blood and whatnot through it. So that's the goal. And so I've been rehabbing that. That was the third week of August. I've been going to physical therapy two times a week and trying to rehab it at home. And it's a nine to 12 month recovery. So I've been busy working on personal stuff. And so you haven't been getting any videos. Um, but that's going to change. I'm getting back in the swing of things. And like I said, I already have some videos. I just need to edit them and get them out there. And then um, I'm going to start making some videos for you on the rehab um, of the home, as well as continuing to make more videos on uh, real estate questions that I get every day. Also, I've been slacking on real estate updates. So I'm just going to give you just not a fancy video, but I'm just going to tell you right now. The last time... Uh, I did an update. I believe the price shot way up. Um, or maybe I didn't do that one. But anyways, from where the market was, it went way up. 
and in the last two months um, it's come down a little bit but it's still up so it went up um, from like 415 to like 460 and then now it's down to like 435 but overall still up because where were we at um, at the bottom of where it fell last year was around four or five in that mark so we're at 435 so anyone who's saying the market is crashing um, no it's not crashing the again the problem is our inventory is so low <clears throat> and even though there's fewer homes that are closing being purchased um, the prices are still being forced up because people are still needing to compete for it so the market is strong I do expect it to go down a smidge like it always does in the winter but if you're thinking about selling the winter time is a great time to do it I know things aren't as pretty as they are in the spring however the people who are looking now especially with these interest rates they are serious and they typically have a higher mo motivation like um, perhaps they're moving for a job or something like that people who are looking in the winter are not tire kickers they are serious buyers so something to think about and I think I will leave it right there remember never settle for less than extraordinary